I'm now heading out to get the uh, new glasses and the lenses switched, so once I'm back from that, I should be able to hopefully uh, work on the vlog. Over time. So yeah, I know I've tried it many times in the past, and I might try it many times more in the future before I like it a whole bunch or something, but I am trying to get more into the rhythm of um, using brick store and stuff like that. I mean, I probably won't necessarily get in the rhythm. Like, I mean, there's at, at least a 50% chance I'll still not use it even after I try it again today, um, but I'm pretty sure I can modify this to have what I need, but I do want to try to work uh get it worked uh to set up and stuff like that just so i can see a little bit of progress for lack of better words when i list stuff um because with this then i can see up here the total value and i was just putting some parts in for testing here um and stuff like that because in this way i can see uh more so the value of how much i get listed and stuff like that and i just i know i, I see videos every now and then of people who use it and then they can see the values of how much they list to see how much progress they're making and stuff like that because when you list directly to bricklink you can't really see that much in that sense and I, I it's a bit embarrassing but it took me until today pretty much to actually figure out how to list with brick store um i just it just i i clicked the i i mean in the past on many occasions i uh at least i want to say three times i accidentally downloaded brick stock instead of brick store and it was nothing but issues um and so then i finally have the right one and i've had it for a little while but I'm trying it again and uh, gonna see how it is. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. And the uh, vlog is now uploaded. All right, so I've gone through and uh, added some to uh, Brick Store now using um, the uh, Instabrick to find some of the minifigures just so I can get the minifigure number easily and stuff like that. So now I have these here and so I can dump them out, and this one here I added, um, but then I realized that the front glass is actually missing, so I'll have to remove that. So then now I'm going to exit this, and I realized part way through that I actually had a uh, pri the price column filled, so then it was just adding the price for all of them, and then I just realized I'm going to remove this total column here because I don't need that one. Um, so then what I need to do is I, I've seen before, uh, one second, let me just see if I press control. No, hmm. I've seen somewhere before. I know it's possible, uh, to just select all of them at once. Um, I'm going to have to figure that out and then I'm going to, um, it shouldn't be too difficult to find. I feel like I'm just missing something super obvious. Um, otherwise I can just go ahead and select them all with control, but I feel like you should be able to just select them like this. I've seen, I thought I saw someone do it like that. Um, no, let's see here. Is there something just super obvious that I'm missing? I can remove this. Hmm. Let's see here. Split? No. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, who knows? So then I'm going to just quickly now copy um all of them. So I've now copied all of them and then okay, set price guide to last six months sales average. Um VAT is excluded, that's good. Um okay, so press okay here. Alright, so then prices of the selected items have been updated to the price guide values so i've got all of these items here now and then we can see that they are all priced at the six month sales average although i haven't updated brick store in a little while so i will have to do that to get more exact ones but then for here it's sw0691 um 91 there we go and then i can open it up here and price guide 832 here it is 829 so yeah just minor price fluctuations this one here has not sold is this one actually marked for deletion i think um 009 yeah this one's marked for deletion so then this one here i'm going to have to delete that one and um yeah it's still i 
it's still weird. Oh, wait. Oh, that's how you do it. You have to select on the column row. I'm so used to with other things just selecting like this, but this one here, you select here. Okay. So that helps a little bit, uh, getting that all sorted out. Um, and so then, yeah, now that I, if I do it like this and I can see that this right here at the six month sales average is $74 worth of Lego, I'll adjust prices and stuff like that because I don't sell most stuff. Uh, well for regular parts I do, but for minifigure parts, I generally don't sell exactly at the last six months sales average. Um, so I can go ahead and adjust prices and then ones like this minifigure here, I already have this one over there set aside for um uh ebay but then most of this stuff here i can just go through check the condition add it to the comments and then add remarks for which drawer or box it goes in so i'm going to test this out now and i i don't know why but for some reason this was like practically impossible for me to figure out last time i tried and well not last time for just one but i have tried using brick store well it's probably a huge pain because most of the time i tried after i attempted to install brick stock again i don't know how i got those two confused so many times um but yeah then i am yeah i've never really gotten this far on it before so now i'm going to uh try adding remarks and comments and stuff like that and then i will check back in um with everything all sorted out now and uh once i get to the next step so i just finished with um the container these ones here are going to ebay he was an expensive one so that's going to take a decent amount off the total and these ones here were oh well, this one I already had in the container earlier but this will take a little bit of value off of the overall total um so it's gone down a little bit but i have now gone ahead and added remarks as you can see i'm very particular with my remarks i'd like to add descriptions for pretty much everything um that has any damage that i can possibly see and stuff like that so then that's all done now and so it's still at 108 dollars and so then now uh it's all got the remarks or the um comments if required and so now i'm pretty sure i need to go file export bricklink xml oh wait i can just copy to clipboard i think so file export uh, mass upload yeah not update it's upload copy to clipboard all right so then um now i just need to go here and paste and as you can see everything here is now written out as needed so then we can see consolidate lots um i'm just going to double check all this stuff then i'll be right back so it looks all good to me right now if i have um this one here i'm not sure if it's if uh, anything that has the same remarks um like isn't listed in the same condition if it'll just put both remarks in the field or if it'll go to the new one um but we will see and so then verify file i've never done this before but i have seen it done before so it shouldn't be too complicated and okay so yeah right here this one i already have listed so what i'll do is i'll just open this up on the side and then i'll consolidate it afterwards but then we can see right here um yep it's the exact same amount 10860 and 10860 so then i can just click upload file in a second i do just want to um make sure okay so it's at 182 before so then upload file and it's already up to 212 so I updated it instantly so that's uh different than when you part out a set normally it takes a little bit but then i should be able to go to visit store shop and then um date added and go to the newest yep and i can see all the stuff all of the remarks have copied over the prices and everything like that so overall can't complain and so yeah then now that that stuff has all been added um then i'm going to uh just actually this was at one it should be two now Yep, and it'll show the old remarks, so I do know where to find it. So that is actually a useful thing to keep in case I do have an issue like that. Um, and then, now that all of that is done, then I can just go ahead and select everything and delete. And then just start over again with the next batch. Um, but normally, it's now 10.13 p.m., I would start syncing up the stores, but, uh, and I couldn't list, but now that I have this, I can actually start listing while the stores are still syncing up. So that's pretty good. All right. So from the last one, I had, um, 44, uh, I'm not sure why it says 114. Oh, it started. Okay. One second. I need to go here 
and change these or well um i'll just change these afterwards um okay one second i'll be right back all right i'm back now i just quickly changed that to quantity of one because that's the thing with uh brick store is that it will remember all of the changes you make so if you have multiple quantities just best to add it on this screen on although there probably is some workaround i'm not thinking of so i just had the first few uh with their prices from earlier um but now i'm going to go ahead and select all of them and it was at 44 dollars, and so i'm going to um now set it to the new one so now it's up to 460 dollars for this container here which isn't too bad and so then now i well i don't have time today it's now 11 25 p.m but then on monday i can go through this list and check things for condition some of the stuff i'm gonna want to um put aside for ebay i moved the container so it's no longer there and some of them like this one here i am going to have to part out um like this because i know i have um right in here somewhere yep right here i have one second i have the head and the torso but not the other parts so this one here i can delete and delete and then i can just select these two and then add them to the price guide as well um so then yeah some of these i'm just going to have to modify a little bit like that but overall can't complain um with uh how this works it's overall pretty good and uh interesting and fun to use and uh it looks like i didn't even really make much of a dent in uh the stuff here i emptied the one box and got a little bit done from this one but there's still lots of stuff to go although this stuff here is the more valuable stuff in general but there still is plenty of interesting and good stuff in here like here's still a luke uh, skywalker torso and uh stuff like that and yeah there's plenty of stuff in here still that's good and everything so it's not like it's all um was i just cherry picked the absolute best from that although it was more of the good stuff from it and uh so then i'm just going to put this stuff back on this table here and nothing fell so that's good um but yeah then on monday i can then uh get to this container and start checking it although that price will probably go down to the uh two to three hundred range i'm thinking because like this will go to ebay um this one will i don't know if i have his hair piece that might just get parted out um this one might one of these ones will i know there's two of them in here um then this guy probably will and uh this one this one here will probably go to um uh the uh scooby-doo drawer to build minifigures in the future and stuff like that but overall uh that is one of the main reasons why i really wanted to use it is so that i can see prices as i go along so i can have a better mindset of just how much i can expect to get in return for the purchases and stuff like that because for uh stuff like this when you drop like there's well there's about 1200 or so after tax for six pounds of minifigures you start to wonder after time and stuff like that, like, am I actually making money from this or not? So then sometime in the future, I can just get that stuff and then I can just um, list every single item and uh, then using Brick Store, I can get an exact price of how much it is just for a generalized future reference and stuff like that because the only other time that i was able to do something like that i had my store closed for a month and i listed a lot of minifigure parts and then i don't want to have to do it like that where i literally have to write down price every single day of how much i listed and stuff like that um but with this method that can work really well and so uh yeah good uh progress is being made and with this i should be able to make uh good progress with listing stuff and everything the stores are now synced up and i didn't get to the ebay cards but i was able to get a decent amount listed and then just gonna put that drawer away but then i'm gonna quickly also now send out the wanted list emails for um bricklink so we will see how many of the lots will get email sensors at 212 and so then as soon as i get the email which usually only takes a few seconds then i will uh see how many people that was sent to and in the meantime i can just quickly put away some of these minifigures 
got uh, two Star Wars rebuilt and then Indiana Jones rebuilt because he sold again. I put them on the cart so I could rebuild them. And then Proxima Midnight. It's the third time I've rebuilt her. Um, so that's done. And I've got the email from Ricklink now. And it was sent to 694 users. So that's all good. And uh, yeah, then on Monday, I can just pick off where, pick up where I left off. And uh, yeah. And also, yeah, this is interesting. I can sort by price. So the most expensive is this minifigure. Then that one. Then Samwise. Oh yeah, this one here. And so like that, I have to part out. Because um, I only actually have his headgear. So this is oh wait, this here's do that 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 all right and then this one i can just quickly set to here and so yeah that price guide will be lowering a lot for the first little while of doing this but uh yeah i'll pick up on monday then just had another random power outage all right so i am getting to work today um and i know i covered it a little bit when it happened yesterday but uh, there was a power outage last night. I mean, not last night, but yesterday. And uh, with the power outage, brick store closed. And then, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, yeah, brick store closed. And it seems like it didn't save um, anything. Um, yeah, it's just, yeah, it just didn't save. But that's fine. It's not the... Uh, biggest uh, issue in the world. Um, so yeah, then I'm just going to uh, have to, where did I put that container? Over here. I'm just going to have to re, um, create the page for this stuff. And I do have to remember to do the um, control S to save it, I believe. And uh, stuff like that. But yeah, you can't win it all. So sometimes things happen and uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I better get back to work then. I do not have patience for that countdown. So yeah, then all I really need to make sure I do is, as you can see up here, it's got the star. All I have to do is every now and then just press Control S and... Oh, I was on the wrong screen. One second. All I have to do is press Control S and it disappears, meaning it's now saved. So I'm going to put my faith in that that's not going to um, break that. So I'm restarting it. Yep. And it's all still here. So that's good. And so now I've added everything back to the best of my knowledge. Um, and so then I'm going to go back and set it to the Bricklink price guide. And yep, it's about the same price as it was yesterday. Um, so yeah, then now I'm going to go ahead and, uh, start going through the list and just, uh, setting stuff aside for eBay because for example, uh, most likely this one, actually, I think I have this one already listed on eBay. So that one might go to Bricklink. This one will probably go to Bricklink, but then, um, this one, actually, I can't remember if I have Zeke on eBay or not. This one here, I do have ready for eBay. I do need his cape, though, but this one is a little faded, so I'll probably not worry about that. This one's probably going to eBay, though. Um, then this one is, actually, I'm going to put this one on Bricklink, then, because I do have another one in the mail, um, which will go to Brick, to eBay, then, I guess. Um, this one I actually have on eBay already. This one will go to eBay. This one I might need for eBay. I don't know. Uh, but that is the one other thing on here is that I don't know really if any of this stuff is on my wanted list. Um, I'm pretty sure I can do something to find out. But uh, oh well. If I think I need it, I'll find it eventually. Um, this one's going to go to eBay. This one I actually need to rebuild for eBay. Although I probably, since this one's missing his headgear, I will grab the one I have for sale already and use that. This one's going to go to eBay. Um, let's see here. This one I probably won't go to eBay. But uh, yeah, then, so there's most of oh, this one here as well. So this here is a decent amount of the value. So then if we look at... Um, in the minifigures, then we've got, uh, where is it? Um, this one here, which is six bucks. Then we have, um, Dragon Wizard. Well, actually, no, that's not in there. Then we have the Vulture at seven and a half. Then we've got Dimensions at 35, Zeke at six, Robin at five. Uh, Harumi, I actually need to put there as well. There's two of them. I think one of them is in good condition. So that's probably for eBay. That's 644. This one here is to part out. Um, then there's 
it's actually it's not quite as much as i was thinking so yeah i'll work on this and see what this uh total will go from currently it's at 77 items and 452 dollars slowly chipping away at the pile this is what's left this here is going to ebay so far his arm is cracked so i do need to replace it but i didn't have that color in the drawer here that i could find so i'll have to work on that a little bit later um then i have so far gotten 26 of the um 78 done and so all that there is done and uh just going to take a quick little break and then it is back uh to working on these yogurt time well this time it wasn't a power outage i somehow hit this cord and it just turned off the power somehow uh luckily not too long ago i just saved and i did record um just before i went upstairs so anything that was lost um i should be able to just go back and get back up again um wonder how i managed to do that so let's actually see how much is still saved. Finished with the Samurai X um, stuff. Uh, let's, yes. Um, rest oh, restore document. Yes. All right. Let's see here. It did perfectly save. Okay. So that one worked. So that's a good uh, save there then, I guess. I don't know why I didn't do that last time, but I'm not going to complain. All right, I just finished with the stuff and I didn't add any more to this pile here and everything has now been processed from here. Oh, almost clicked on, well, I did click on something, but uh, now we can see all of the stuff is now descriptions added, remarks added for the parts. And so this here is now all done and it is still, well, let's get that to focus, 383.58. So still pretty decent amount total. So then, um, yeah, ended up filling up this drawer here, got a whole bunch of minifigures in here and started on this drawer. And so now it was, um, I know I just did it, uh, file, export, uh, mass upload, and then it opens it up for me on Bricklink. Then I just need to paste, and I confirmed all that stuff was good last time, and then verify file, and then I can see, well, let's get this to focus. Here we go, and then see, I have no new, stock, new lots listed this week. So then now I can just go ahead and confirm that nothing has to be put with old stuff, and it looks like it is all new. Yep. And all right, so I now have the page up with all of the different uh, prints, and um, so there is 35 different ones. So I am gonna just start by first adding the prices, and so it would be $23 with a quantity of just one. But with a lot of these, I wonder if there is a way. Uh, no, not adjust price, not part out, consolidate, subtract, no. Hmm. Copy. Oh, wait, can I? Okay, so if I go um, like this, if I go control C, control V. Okay, no, if I don't want to override it. Um, and then I just do control V. No um oh control p probably control p no what so here is paste control v yeah it is what okay so if i go here um oh, no i didn't i just want to sort by index okay so i just want to do control v why would it overwrite the selected items I did it once, but if I do it twice, no. It's, uh, just add the new lots, control A. Okay, oh, there we go. So now, if I do it again, it'll open up that. But if I do control A, oh no, that selects all. Okay, so it is two steps or so, but that's fine for this. So that's interesting and good to know. Um, I did leave the page up here, so if needed, I could just retype this in and then just click add again. So, for example, just click add, and then it's here, and then I can work on it if needed. So I might leave that up there, see if I can use that. But now I have the template up for all of these, so then I can start uh, making my way through the rest of these white torsos. I just finished with all of the white torsos except for this one right here because there's like several different types mixed in and everything like that like you can see without back print with back print and then also i'm almost entirely certain there are several different numbers 
on some of these. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can see right there that. Oh, let's get this to focus. Um, this one right here, although this might just be the difference between the front print and not, but that's a. Uh, let's get that to focus. That is 5.3. Then this one is 8.0. And I'm pretty sure that there's several different ones in here, although that might just, for these two it was at least, the difference between the back print and not. But I'm almost certain there are several different types. But I will get that stuff processed probably just after I upload this. I just want to get this done. But now I have um, 40 different lots I've got for the different conditions. It's like the same part. One arm is cracked and one side of the torso is cracked. And then I have the normal version that is in good condition um and stuff like that so this here is all of the torsos in total it is 40 lots for 52 dollars so that is good there and so now i can go file um export mass upload and then go here paste and verify all right, and then we can see if any of these, yep, so this one here, I'm going to have to open on the side and update that one. Same with this one and this one and this one, but that's all. And then I can just go upload file and now that is done. And then I just am going to just quickly verify that shop uh, date added latest, um, yep. I can see all of the ones that are added just now. It's mixed in weirdly with all the other stuff, but it's all there. So now I can just nicely go ahead and delete this. And then I can get started on these ones either now or after supper. Then I quickly also requested a name change because with these ones here, I'll check the change log real quick. It's not showing yet, um, but it was recent. I just requested, I'll see if I can show it here to show better. Okay, right here. Um, so it changed the name from this. It used to be um, these torsos here. You could get them with several different numbers. There's like an 18, a 9, a 10, an 11, and a whole bunch of different ones. And uh, so then I just tried searching up uh, red and blue stripes and then the number and stuff like that. And then it would only show a few of them. And so then after a whole bunch more searching, I found out that some of them used to be called, actually this is it right here, I think, yeah. Some of them used to be called striped. And so now um, I just asked if they could be um, made so that they're the uniform stripes one and they did. So that is a slight improvement. So now um, you should be able to search up white uh, torso arms red blue stripes and see yep now you can see all of the different ones right here instead before there's only three of them and uh, so i requested for five and so that has now been added oh yeah i think this is from omega yeah i think that this minifigure here uh was just announced that it's going to be released in the lego star wars calendar um for the end of the year so that's interesting so yeah, so far there is one, um, and then actually, let me just quickly check, might be with different hands, no it's not, okay, but then there is one, two, three, and then th there should be uh, a fourth, well this is the fourth one, and then there might be a fifth one somewhere mixed in here, I haven't checked all of the numbers on these yet, um but uh yeah then there's so yeah one two three wait no one two three four so yeah four for sure different versions of this part uh possibly going up to five or so and uh so yeah i'm definitely going to just list these ones directly onto bricklink just so that i can make sure i get everything everything exactly right um but yeah there's a lot of almost identical ones here and a lot of these are not going to be uh things i can list because they are not going to be in too good of a condition so yeah like i mean you can even see it from here this one here is just yellowed like anything i can sell with the hands probably but uh yeah the rest of it i can't see it then it's all of these here are 50380 i think um so yeah it does look like there is only four variants total for these options here but then i can go ahead and get these guys listed 
So I just finished with the uh, prisoner torsos. These are the ones that were listed. I had to grab a few more drawers. Um, there weren't too many. As you can see, a lot of them were damaged. These are like the most basic torsos that you can get that are white. And since white, yellow is the fastest of any Lego part. Um, and these are city, which are usually the ones that little kids get. Um, they're just very poor condition overall. Although, one second. Let's see this one here. Why was this one? Oh, yeah, it's got, it's just weird and stuff like that. I don't know. Some of them, it's just, yeah, it's confusing. But most of those things are just absolutely destroyed. But I am now finished with that. Um, so, yeah, then I guess I'm going to then just start um, with this container at the top here and then just create another list on, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, brick store. And then basically just have a container um, over here that I then use for what I'm going to be adding and then the rest of it I'll just put into an empty one of these which will then end up getting put into the drawers over there um so yeah I'm going to work on this now well BrickLink isn't working on the computer for me right now it is working fine on mobile but on the computer it's just loading infinitely for the past few minutes I was doing that a little bit earlier today as well um but uh yeah who knows but uh yeah done with uh, getting a little bit in there at least I'll just do a quick look through here but this uh, i feel like instabrick will be really good specifically for when i'm adding bricks and stuff like that um because then it's just lower quantities and uh, i can find the part numbers a bit easier and stuff like that and uh yeah who knows but uh right now when bricklink's down i just like to confirm things and stuff like that i mean i can still get a few part numbers if i want but i'll probably just leave it at this then um i might need that for one of the lloyds there i can't remember uh but yeah then i'll might just add a couple more minifigures but then after that i'll probably just start working on them then um but let's see if there's anything else really cool that can be added maybe um that might is that a sticker no it's not that might be able to be added i'm not sure if that's a actual minifigure that one probably is um this one's missing its headgear uh let's see Hmm. Oh, this one I can almost certainly add. Um, hmm. Looks like it's from Cole. Hmm. This guy with a mullet. This guy here. And see, so yeah, I'm basically just going to go through this, find a few more that see if I can add them from this container. But most of this stuff here is going to ultimately end up just getting put in the drawers there and stuff. So I've got my next container of parts to list. Ended up finding a few duplicates of several of the minifigures. Although looking at it closer now, these aren't actually duplicates. So I will have to actually just quickly uh, grab the other one. I was only uh, trying to remember what it looked like. So this one I'll put back in there and rescan that. But um, I thought it was another one of these guys here, so I'll have to update this to a one. And uh, so, yeah, and that is that guy there. And um, so, this one is not showing up here, so I'll probably just end up leaving it because Bricklink, I click on it and it just loads and loads and loads and nothing actually happens. So, this one here will just end up going back in the container for now um so yeah then i am now going to start working on this but then let's quickly see first um how much this is if it all ends up getting listed nothing goes to ebay and if it's in good condition um okay price guy six month sales average so then this container here of less uh, major stuff um is 227.79 i don't think i'll be able to get through all of this today because i do have to still pull orders tonight and stuff like that and uh yeah but we'll see how much we can get through. But overall, making good progress today. Hopefully, BrickLink is back up and running soon. I should probably just leave this here just so it loads. And then eventually, it'll pop up when it works. But we will see. And just so some highlights from what's in this container um, is something that can actually be done. Now I can sort by price. And then go to the bottom. We have this torso. Although I know this one has a crack on the front and the back and stuff like that. So I know it's not worth quite that much. Um, then we have a Saruman head. And then 
another one of the castle torsos. Um, then there's like the Wicked Witch and a Lloyd and uh, some similar ones, but uh, nothing too major other than for those. I don't, this one here might be going to eBay. I can't remember if I already got it for eBay though. I think I just added the headgear to my wand list. So that one I might just end up putting in the eBay uh, container then. Um, there's a creeper. I might put one to eBay. Uh, Lloyd might, uh, but most of the other stuff here is just generic stuff. Um, so I will, for the most part, just uh, put this stuff all to Bricklink. So I'm now going to start working on this and hope that Bricklink starts working on the computer again. I ended up having to just uh, completely exit the internet and then it worked fine, um, like all the browsers and stuff like that. I know I lost some tabs and everything like that, but uh, probably weren't that important, I'm hoping. Well, I finished that faster than I was expecting. It's only 9.30 and I've now finished with all of this stuff here with all the remarks added, comments, um for their condition and stuff like that and it's still at 202 so now i can go for file export mass upload and then let's see what this is like uh paste that verify uh oh i accidentally just selected the one thing there by accident that didn't work out too well um let's try file export um mass upload all right let's try this one all right, perfect. So let's see right here. Okay, so then these ones I have to consolidate. This one, and I'm not thinking there's any more. Yep, all right. So just two have to get consolidated, but that's 52 more lots, $202 uploaded. So that's pretty good. Mystery order, let's see how much it is. First, we'll see it is 28 items in 10 lots. Then let's see what's in the order. Um, there's the rats, torso, snakes, legs, my month, the torso, rattlesnake, just listed that one the other day, a, uh, guard head, I'm gonna lift up the camera just so I don't actually show the, uh, order information, okay, there, it's farther down, um, and then a fez and some corner pieces, so overall, nice order, it is $20.24, so I'll send out that invoice and then consolidate the two items, put the drawers away there, and then I should probably start pulling orders. Well, that doesn't seem too good, I guess our water thing just blew. Yeah. You guys can hear it and see it, it's just leaking bad. So yeah, that's the uh, issue. I heard a huge bang and now that's happening. Well, hindsight is 2020. Maybe we shouldn't have taped over the drain. Well, one problem partially resolved now. It's, uh, I honestly have no idea where that goes, but probably somewhere. And it doesn't look like the actual thing exploded, more so just a hose popped or something like that. For me, it just sounded like they're turning on the outside water because it's springtime now, so I thought they are just turning water on, so I didn't even think to anything of it until he was about to start pulling orders. Oh, you can see it completely just drying up the floor here. And this wood has seen worse. It doesn't even feel wet. That's weird. Like, it's wet here, but then right here, it's completely dry. I don't feel a thing. That's interesting, but at least it's getting the job done. I'm surprised that thing still even works. Now that everything's calmed down a bit, I'll try to just do a little bit better of an overview of what really happened. Basically, um, in the water heater um, over here, we have a fan blowing now to dry stuff up. But over here, that thing there just burst. And it was leaking from several different areas. And the pressure was so much that that thing there, which was connected there somewhere, flew all the way across here and then hit, hit, hit the wall and then landed there. Um, so then we got uh, a lot of water out of there. Um, one of those large totes, they don't have it down here anymore, but that was removed and then we're just leaving that there for now. We did manage to turn the water off and the guy kept telling us, no, it's not a red valve, but um, we just eventually tried that one because that was the only one that looked like it could be the input and it turned water off and we do have water now for the rest of the house, so that's good. So we've got the fan here to uh, try and dry up the area. It is a rental um, because for some reason we can rent water heaters apparently. 
uh, but it is fully covered by them, so we are getting a new unit. Um, good thing it didn't happen uh, into a new unit, because we were planning to get one somewhat near future, but uh, then uh, it's still covered, so that's all good. Should be able to get that sorted out. All the stuff's been removed from here, and uh, it's getting dried out. And so then, now we've just got stuff everywhere over here. This here is just a towel over a box, just trying to dry it out a bit. It's already mostly dry now, um, but that was sopping wet. That was in the water for a while. Um, but then over here, where I had initially spotted it, it's now just completely dry. You can't even feel that it was wet. It's almost like you took a Swiffer to the floor half an hour ago, and it's now just dry. Um, we had tape over the drain, so it wasn't draining initially, but uh, then once we took the tape off the drain, it started draining perfectly fine, and so now it's basically completely dry on this end, except for the drain and just around it, um, and maybe between the drain and the door itself. Um, there's no water underneath any of these uh, shelves here, so this is all good now, and um, yeah, so it's mostly solved now. There are emergency um, uh, response uh, team to the water heater uh, exploding will be here at the crack of dawn, or what they mean by somewhere between 8 and 12. Uh, so somewhere around there, we should be getting them to take a look at it. And uh, apparently they don't want to first send a new unit, even though the unit itself blew because they first have to send a technician. And so then the technician's going to basically be here like, yeah, it blew or no, it didn't blow. And then they're going to have to place an order and all that stuff. So we're going to be out without hot water for a couple days, but uh, that's life. Can't do anything about it. Um, so yeah, then I'm not going to be pulling orders tonight. And tomorrow's going to be an interesting day for pulling orders because depending on how long they work here they might have a whole bunch of equipment they might need stuff moved here so it might be issues with pulling orders in the morning but it should still be fine um but yeah at least all that stuff solved now shouldn't cost anything to get anything fixed or anything like that um but yeah then now i am going to just actually quickly check if anything's missing remarks uh store inventory missing my remarks go and the moment of truth nothing all right so then i can just put these two drawers away here so 886 is right yeah this doesn't match up this is 868 wonder how long that's been there for so that goes there i wasn't able to list the one 20 dollar torso um it's in here somewhere yeah this one here it was just too far gone even for me um, with always describing damage, it was just completely destroyed, um, pretty much. It's 435 is over here, so I wasn't able to list that, but overall, still a very good listing day. Um, about, what was it, 150 or 180, let's check, um, here, 180 lots listed for sale today, so very good in that regard. Um, so yeah, then I probably won't be getting too much more done from these for the next little while, because then tomorrow after uh orders are shipped out and stuff like that well now with the water heater it might be delayed again fate has a way of always preventing taxes from being done i don't know why every year we always um find a time that works best for uh filing taxes and stuff like that and then something always happens that prevents it i mean usually by something happens i mean i just really do not want to do it and i find every excuse in the world to prevent doing it but something always happens and then taxes always get delayed so i'm not sure what uh if we're gonna be doing any taxes tomorrow but hopefully we can get that sorted out so that's the new water heater thing it's practically the same except it's different, I guess, and it works, and it isn't broken. We got a Lego in the mail today, but alas, it is not mine. I think this shelf would work nicely for those Lego sets, so I'll probably clear off this shelf right here, and uh, then put them over here. And it is now a success, they are on the shelf, so have these ones here, and then a couple that didn't fit up there, um, so yeah, just uh, nicely on the shelf. It's a pretty cool set, I dare say. Uh, it goes nicely along with the other Lego here. Um, so yeah, these things here are only seven and a half dollars. Bought them, well, it's half a year, a year ago or something like that. And uh, yeah, good to have them. I, they look pretty cool. Um, although 
They, uh, I don't expect them to, to sell for that much, but I uh, can't go wrong at seven and a half dollars a piece. So yeah, I have these ones over here and then just a couple mismatched Lego sets. The pile is slowly dwindling though, mostly out of Overwatch sets. I have one, two, three, actually I mean my sister has one, two, three left of them, I believe. There was like 10 or 15 of them a year ago. Um, then of all of the Lego sets, the ones that sold the absolute best weren't these, but they were the Ninjago version of them. It was the Oni ones. Uh, those things shot up in value so fast. It was crazy. Um, but yeah, pretty good uh, selection still. So I uh, wonder how many more of these we'll end up picking up. Probably going to be picking up a couple of the trash compactor ones and a couple more of these throughout the year, most likely. But uh, yeah, we'll have to see. But this here is definitely my favorite of the diorama sets so far. Well, I'd like the Endor Speeder one a little bit. I don't know. That one just looks nice as well, but I think this one's a little bit better. Just sold a Lego set from the eBay room. Let's see if we can spot it. I don't know where it is. Actually, I see one. All right. It's right here. Just sold this Flintstone set. Uh, this thing here was, I believe, uh, 80 or $90 is what was paid for it. Uh, would have gotten promos with it. It should be either this Christmas or next Christmas that the uh, price point that we're comfortable at selling these uh, should be here. So those ones should be able to start selling sooner. Well, in a couple of years or so. Um, but this one here, there's paid 80 or 90 Would have gotten some of those with it. And just sold it for $149.99 plus shipping. So that was a nice sale. It's so dreary outside right now. It's so nice. I wish every day was this good outside. It's just not too warm, not too cold, just nice. It's a little bit of a breeze and it's just really nice weather out today. And apparently we've got like a makeshift graveyard or something in our garden. I don't know what that is, um, but yeah, it's pretty nice weather out today. We've also got our levitating two by four board that just chills out there. We've got the uh, washing machine barrel, which holds dirt because there's other dirt in the garden and we got the uh bird feeder with a metal uh thing so that squirrels can't climb it then we got a windmill that can't rotate anymore because it just kind of broke a long time ago there used to be a huge tree in the center but uh we got rid of that and we moved it over there and then chimnea which uh it's definitely seen better days although i can't say it's rusted anymore since uh, we got it like 10 years ago but uh, yeah, it's pretty nice weather today. But yeah, then uh, now it looks like absolutely everything is fine. It's uh, We've turned the heat up 50% than what they said it should be because it's still just freezing cold. Um, well, it's not freezing cold, but it's just the different temperatures we're used to. Like when you put, turn the tap, like for example, taps like this, if you're not like this, it's moderately warm and stuff like that. But uh, right like that, it's still room temperature. So we just messing around with that. Um, already up 50% from what it was uh, this morning when they finished it, but it does look like it is all finally good again. Um, nothing happened with the gas line, thankfully. Oh, uh, is this another gas line? I don't know. There seems like there's multiple natural gas lines. Uh, but yeah, it seems like absolutely everything is all fixed now. So they sent one person who uh, just went and um, had to verify that it actually was destroyed and couldn't be used anymore. And then they had to send another crew over and then uh, they replaced the unit. And although I wasn't awake when they did it, well, I mean, I was awake because hearing multiple people install a water heater is not quiet, but I wasn't here to see them. But my parents said that they were very friendly. So there's that at least. Um, so yeah, that is now all solved. All the water is being cleaned up. And uh, I got some boxes in the mail today from eBay that the boxes were in a box because why not? Um, and all the orders have now been shipped out, including the parcels that I couldn't ship out last time because it was closed for Easter. So then what I'm going to do today then um is first uh we were going to be starting taxes today but since we had the whole water heater uh issue and stuff like that everything just got pushed back a whole bunch so now what is most likely uh gonna be that i do is first i'm going to just rebuild the dark pink space minifigure because i sold them again for 19 bucks on bricklink so i'll have to get him relisted then what i'm thinking i'll do is i'm going to just uh well you can possibly see there's a one on the email thing that's just because the um shipping 
uh, package thing with the Ninjago ones has now arrived at the shipping forwarding address. So then I can just get that shipment from uh, there shipped out. And so then that's all sorted out. Then uh, after that, I'm going to clear off that table a little bit. And then I'm just going to get all of these minifigure parts. And I'm just going to start putting them all away in all the different drawers and stuff like that. So that is my goal for today. And then after that's done, then I should be able to start getting back to um, with this stuff here. Just putting it, uh, listing it and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll check back in once uh, something happens, I guess. Just finished relisting Lenny. Uh, he's for sale again. So he's sold as high as $22 now in Canada. And I have the two cheapest ones in Canada. So that's all good there. Um, so now he can go back into drawer 5455, uh, which is right here. So that one is now done. So that's tackled. So the next thing to tackle is getting the shipping forwarding package um figured out and sent so i'm gonna work on that now just finished with the my us uh package so that is now currently um going through whatever process it goes through i can't remember what it is it's just some form of process where they uh pack everything into uh, one box and then ship it out or something like that um but then that is now done and so it was 10 packages this time as opposed to last time was six but then last time also included one thing for my mom so it is uh twice as much actually two things so it's more than twice as much this time than it was last time in total i paid 120 dollars. that does include tax it was about um what was it again it was sixty dollars on shipping for eleven pounds from the states which is a very reasonable price considering that they also hold the packages for a month and everything like that um so there's sixty dollars plus i don't remember how much on tax but the rest of it was tax and that was probably all in american so that's probably like 70 or 80 or something canadian i don't remember exactly what it was they uh had bought by default set as uh, an additional charge for insurance i turned that off because i do not want to pay an additional ten dollars for insurance um as for me personally i've never lost a package with dhl and it, it's a little bit weird with how exactly it works with shipping forwarding companies i know there's always talk about um how when someone loses something with the shipping forwarding company uh they file charge back chargebacks against sellers and stuff like that and that might work with a credit card but when you pay with paypal i mean it is marked as delivered and on ebay it's marked as delivered so there isn't really anything i can do uh, if anything happens but that's fine i'll live so now this table is clear um over here so then now i'm going to get all three of these so here's one here's two here is three, and here is four. Apparently I'm bad at counting, so it's actually four. What's the one at the bottom here again? Oh, it's the accessories from the one. Okay, so then with this stuff here, um, I'll dump it off camera just because I don't want to accidentally get stuff into the drawers there and stuff like that. But then I'm just going to now dump all of this out on the table here and then i'm going to basically just put some stuff over here that i want to list right now but then the rest of it will just go in the drawer so for example this one right here uh the helmet or hair i think i usually just put those in the hair i think i don't know i never that's not real too consistent then the head i can just quickly put into the um head hollow so there's that then the torso i can separate if i can there we go and then the torso put into torso can up here and then the legs into legs white over here and then do that with absolutely everything here so there's a lot to go um this one here the tail is the same size as another one uh so i might swap that out and then add the dimensions for that to bricklink sometime during this process uh but yeah i'll dump this out then i'll be right back so yeah, then it's all dumped out now. Uh, this here is my garbage container. And then this over here is the container for things I would want to list. So then um, this stuff here is partially gone through. The really good stuff for the most part has been removed, uh, but there still is some decent stuff in here. Like, I mean, this one here is like five bucks, I think. Uh, then there's a Gandalf here, which is a little bit and stuff like that. So there is still some decent stuff in here. So now I am going to uh probably it'll take a while um to go through this and uh like this here probably 
Uh, I think I might have that one on eBay already, but then some of these I'll double check to see if they can go on eBay or just list them on uh, Bricklink and stuff like that. But yeah, then I'm going to now go through all of these and see what can be listed and what can't. I know I don't have all of them, but I've got a uh, decent amount of the hair pieces from here. There's some of them like this one, which I put into the uh, Lego movie container um, instead of the hair one. But then, yeah, there still is uh, hair pieces here. But then I can't yeah, get absolutely every single one of them. I can only get as many as I can see. Then I can switch to the next one and uh, do each one a few times. But then now I can just quickly grab the hair container and then grab these into it getting a bit full this is my favorite one to list because usually these ones here are in overall pretty decent condition so that will be a good one to list uh when it's time and then i've got uh, just a few that i'm just putting in drawers and so now i'm probably going to just go ahead and get as many of the heads off as i can um this here is the minifigures and parts that i do want to go ahead and list it looks like mostly complete minifigures and then i remembered randomly oh wait i have another drawer of star wars parts and i actually finally found that headgear at piece i needed to be able to measure a whole bunch of star wars minifigures um and also i believe that this one here i need i can use to measure and stuff like that so then i've got that and then i've got this guy set over here so i remember to uh, measure him as well and then also this is uh, just some bricks and stuff like that. This piece here I will take off because um, I do generally want to try and list as much as I can um, from these here because it's just uh, printed and stickered parts. I just like to keep them all and eventually list them because those are great for building up a uh, total lot amount because people do buy them. I just sold a, a couple again in the one order, but uh, yeah, people like buying them and then they're good for keeping lots up because not everyone lists them and stuff like that. So that's all good there now. Um, so yeah, then I can work on this a little bit later, but for now I'm just going to try and get um, as much of this stuff here uh, put away as I can and I did actually have a nice little find here is a light gray helmet this is one that I've had one break in the past shipping out um it's one of the very few parts that's ever broken for me uh so then light gray helmet right here and then part and right here and so it's this one here the it doesn't uh, it isn't in the other colors or for the most part it isn't and as you can see it's 25 to 57 dollars for just this one helmet so that's pretty good and uh so yeah then these here um well, it's not the minifigure it's on let me actually go back to the minifigure it is on um it's actually on quite a few so that was actually it then but yeah it's on quite a few different minifigures mostly or entirely old castle yeah it's all old castle that is from a few space ones mixed in there um and stuff like that but these guys are pretty valuable and um so yeah it's these ones here which i actually found another red one in the pile over here so then um i have one moment let's see here this here is just the uh, one I88, IG88, or something like that, headpiece, and it's printed over the mold uh, dot on the thing, so I just put it on the side. But yeah, I've got uh, three of them in red, so right here, three in red and one in white, and so red go for 12 to 20, and white for 12 to 20 as well. So yeah, these ones here I just need to um, get a second opinion on before I list them. I'm pretty sure they are real LEGO. Um, it's just that really weird plastic type from the, uh, early, uh, late seventies, early eighties that Lego used for these. I've had them in the past before, but yeah, then I'm going to just, uh, eventually whenever I get around to it, ask about it in the forums, just get a second opinion on that. But, uh, yeah, then I'm slowly chipping away at all of the stuff here. I'm leaving the uh, vacuum down here because tomorrow I do hope to um, just vacuum the basement then. I'll put it down here um, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, there's that. And then I had a little bit of help. And so now the first sort of all of the Lego is done. Uh, let me just move this chair back over here. And so then with the first sort, it now is, oh, let's set that to focus. It's now just this right here remaining. Um, we've gotten e all of the parts either in their drawers. As you can see, some of the drawers are now filled up. Um, thrown out if it's garbage. This here is the not Lego stuff. Or I think there's like one damaged Lego part in there that's also garbage. Um, I think. Not sure. 
Might have just actually ended up throwing that one out. I can't remember. Oh, no, there's a Playmobil in here. I'm not sure if I'll throw out. Probably won't. Um, I'll just set that up here then for now. Um, but yeah, then this stuff is garbage. This here is the stuff I want to list. Um, then this here is the stuff for the measuring. And then this container here I pulled out from there. That's all the stuff that goes into these drawers here. Um, so yeah, basically almost everything left here is now just... Um, stuff from generic minifigures for the most part there's gonna be a little bit mixed in here and there and stuff like that but for the most part these parts here are just going to go into the torso uh legs um heads and headgear uh containers and then the hair is almost full now uh headgear is not quite as full um but yeah making progress so then uh i'm gonna probably first work on measurements for a little bit take a bit of a break and then after that try to just uh get a little bit more done with this here um because yeah there's already a lot of heads two containers of torsos again and legs and it's slowly building up so i must be going slightly crazy then because looking at this helmet here it looks like Axiday over a year ago already added the dimensions for this stuff uh, i'll show dates there's May 31, 2022, and it's April 11, 2023. So I added it for two that were missing that needed a neck bracket and this piece right here. But um, yeah, I, I don't know why I thought it was there, but uh, I am going to just quickly take a look through uh, here. There's still uh, these ones here. <laughs> Those would be good fun to try and figure out. That would be an absolute pain. If anyone has these at home and <clears throat> excuse me and wants to add them, uh, I won't blame them. Uh, I won't stop you. I mean, um, but yeah, these two here I was, but then looking at these, I thought, did I? No, I'm not sure if I actually did find these here. Did I get? Yeah, I, oh, I didn't have this one. Did I actually? I did. I did find that part. I knew I looked. It looked familiar. So I can actually add that one. Um, so that one I'll just leave there. It's on two different minifigures. This one here, I feel like I might be able to. This one, I don't have that helmet, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this one here, I'll have to take a closer look at. Um, Gar Saxon, when I eventually sell mine, I'll probably do that one then. But then, these ones here are definitely possible, just, uh, require a building. But I feel like there was, um some somewhere uh these are all the dual mold helmets i don't have that jabba the hut hmm but what was that minifigure that i thought i uh was looking for was it just those two that's a unique cape <clears throat> excuse me huh Oh, it's this helmet. This is the helmet I'm looking for. Okay, so it's not the helmet I was looking for. This is the one that I'm looking for. Okay, so yeah. And then I got this one because I'm not sure if this helmet is one that I might need as well. I'll look that up. But let's uh, take a quick look because I was almost certain I had looked through this drawer. But uh, at least I was able to get those. Two. Wait, no, that's just the other one of the same type. No, what? Okay, this is confusing. Which one is this now? This is 2713. Um, let's look up 2713 with the star because I don't, oh, I didn't see the last number. No, oh wait, it, it, the star disappeared. Okay, so that's 137. Okay, so these are for these three, which I'm assuming already they do not have their packing dimensions. Okay, so that one can be used then. Um, and then lastly, uh, might be able to see it from, where was it? Here, I'll move this to the side. Um, okay, so then I just opened up those ones there. So I know one of these helmets, is it this one? If so, let's see here. Um, at this helmet, no, it does look different. Um, yeah, you can see this one here. It's got a different design to it. Um, yeah, these ones aren't the same, so it is not that one. Um, and then, yeah, these other helmets are the same as that one, but not these. Unfortunately, I'm still missing that thing for that guy. Um, Sebula, I might have his thing somewhere. I don't know. That one don't have. I'm missing that arm, unfortunately. Um, Tusken Raider. Thought that that would have had it. 
Uh, but yeah, okay, so I'm still missing those ones here. Then I can just work on these a little bit, but I don't have the one I was looking for, but I was almost certain I did, and I forget which one it was again. And I think I'm even going more crazy because then I was just trying to find this minifigure and I already added the packing dimensions. I have no memory of this. I know I added for one of the snakes, uh, but then I was like, okay, well, I've added it for the one. And then a little while later, I found another one. I'm just going to quickly throw away the tail part. Um, and then I found another one and then I was like, okay, well, um, I can reuse the base because this one here is destroyed. So I can't use this one. And, uh, yeah, but that one's already been added. So yeah, I guess I'm just going crazy at this point. Um, but, uh, yeah, well, I guess that's done. And so then, I was able to get just for a few things, not too many, uh, but for the Star Wars ones, for the helmets and the minifigures they go to, and so yeah, just all of these already have their packing dimensions added and stuff like that. So then I'm just going to quickly browse through, see if there's anything I can um, add dimensions for, but most of it uh, for the for the stuff like this one here i would but for the one of these ones i'm actually still missing the um what's it called the hair piece so i can't add for that one yet so i think i'll just be stopping here for the moment then time for another windows update let's see how fast it turns the entire computer off that's going a little bit fast it's not focusing it's a lot of tabs okay restart anyway let's see and updates are underway well i guess i'm gonna call it a day now so yeah i didn't get much more done here i was able to just add that i mentioned but i didn't really do much after that how is it already almost 30 degrees outside well i am getting to work today and i do have to remember to vacuum later but i have all of my previous paperwork from the past uh while uh for taxes because today yeah, if all goes well in an hour or so, or probably less, um, probably am going to be starting on taxes finally. So that's all going to be good fun. And uh, so yeah, I just brought down everything that is needed and it's uh, not going to be fun, but I uh, have no choice. So I'll just set this stuff all here. I got all the different stuff. I remember the one time I had to send the CRA every single one of these pages for the first audit I had. Um, I just sent them over, waited like, uh, three months, and then they just sent them all back and said, approved. Probably, uh, not sure why they did, because it's just real confusing, but it worked. So, I am not going to complain, because they're happy with it, I'm happy with it, and everything seems to have gone well. So, I have to do more taxes again today. Um, not this year, but next year. Taxes should relatively be a lot simpler, because I am trying to print out um purchases and stuff like that now um whenever i make them I, where I, like at least for bricklink because bricklink when you make a purchase you have to actually print the thing out or else the receipt uh type thing is gone after uh six months but ebay keeps them like seemingly forever so that's good um so yeah the computer is now updated and then i'll sign into that in a little bit and so then now i have to also work on finishing the uh, stuff over here because I might need this table for taxes. So I might either see if I can just quickly take this stuff apart, put it in the containers, or if I'm going to have to um, wait till the next time. And I don't remember taking this drawer out, but I probably did. Um, see, I'll have to figure out what to do with all of this stuff here. Just try to get it all sorted out. This here is actually next to night, so that's just in here where actually I can place it right in that container there. And then, no, I do not want to use whatever that is. Um, don't think, yeah, okay. So that's all done there now. So this here is going to be the end of the vlog. Um, not sure when the next vlog will start. Uh, might not be recording much for the first day or so because taxes but uh yeah this is the end of the vlog thank you for watching if you got this far today is a wednesday i think so the next vlog should be out on saturday but i've got my work cut out for me between all this lego the taxes and the well including packaging um the weight of the package from the shipping forwarding company is i think it said it was about 12 pounds after everything's 
uh, accounted for of Lego minifigures again in the mail. So there's all that. So there is lots of stuff that I am uh, having to work on. So yeah, this is the end of the vlog. Thank you for watching. If you got this far, the next vlog should be out on Saturday.